Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adores Him. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. I just feel a like faith and expectancy tonight. Kind of like one of those services you just don't know what to expect. You just don't know what's going to happen. You just don't know who's going to get out of a wheelchair. Or have cancer healed or a deaf ear unstopped or a blind eye open. Or a heart problem resolved. Because with God, all things are possible. Amen. It has truly been a joy and an honor to be back with NAC and just a fellowship with your wonderful bishop and uh, the kindness. Appreciate everything. Even Sister Blankenship sewing my tie for me and fixing it. I came downstairs and I said, I need help. I broke my tie. <laughs> and she took care of it. Thank you. Amen. I've enjoyed the fellowship. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed ministering to the fine leaders of this church on Saturday night. I want you to know you have a group of some of the finest leadership in this church. <laughs> Men and women of God. Amen. And now that's a reflection of the great leadership of your bishop and the elders of this church. Amen. Thank you for your prayers for Spirit-led Church. Thank you for your prayers for the Arcovio family and just everything that God is calling us and asking us to do. Our church is in a time of 40 days of prayer and fasting and uh, I actually spoke two places at once today. While I was preaching here this morning, I, they were playing the video I recorded earlier this week to the church. So, uh, but I texted to one of our young ministers, well, one of our ministers is not too young anymore, but Brother Phil, Michelle, and I said, how'd service go? He says, well, he says, nobody shouted because you was talking about fasting. <laughs> But we had a good time in the Lord, and we had several visitors and some good contacts today. And I appreciate your prayers and for your support and all that you've done to help help us further the kingdom of God. Because it's all about the kingdom. I said it's all about the kingdom of God. Amen. Tonight I want to talk to you about kingdom faith. Amen. And it's walking with a measure of focused faith. I want to begin by reading in Matthew 7, verse 7 through 8. And I do see a few books still back there at the back table. And you would bless me greatly if I didn't have to take any of them home with me. That doesn't mean go back there and just help yourself. But just drop us a George Washington or two. Amen. Matthew 7, verse 7 through 8. Ask. Everyone say ask. <clears throat> that word ask in the original is... Aito, which means to call for, to crave, the desire, to require. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek. Say seek. seek. That word seek, seek in the original is zito, which means an uncertain affinity to search for, to worship. And that's what we've been doing tonight. We've been reaching for him. We've been worshiping him with our Singing and our hand clapping and our hand lifting and our dancing and our shouting. It's all been for his glory, for his honor. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock, say knock. That word knock in the original Greek is karuo, which means to take physical action. Or to step out with physical action. Knock and it shall be opened to you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Why don't you put your Bibles down, and let's lift our hands, and let's just invite the Lord to speak to us here tonight. Father, 
Without you, we can do nothing. On this final night that I minister to this wonderful assembly, but certainly not the final time that you're going to move. Thank you for renewal. Thank you for what you've done this weekend to restore faith, to renew vision, to restore strength like an eagle's. I thank you, Lord. I give you glory, honor, and all of the praise. But now tonight, loose your gifts in this house. Loose the gift of faith, working of miracles, loose gifts of healing. And God, we ask these things in your name. And everyone says, in Jesus' name. I just wonder if you could shout that name. In Jesus' name. Oh, clap your hands to the name that is higher than any other name, the name of Jesus. Whereby every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. You can be seated. Ask, seek, and knock. These are the three prerequisites for the miraculous. And we don't just ask, but we ask in faith. Our beloved Billy Cole, who's gone on to see the Lord. One of his favorite illustrations in preparing people for the outpouring of the Holy Ghost or for the demonstration of healing and miracles would always instruct us to ask in faith. Not to ask with your head bowed, please God, but to ask rejoicing with faith that God is going to fill you. God is going to heal you. God is going to deliver you. John 11, verse 41 through 42. The Bible tells us, so they took away the stone. And Jesus lifted his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you've heard me. Yes, I know that you always hear me and listen to me. But I've said this on account of and for the benefit of the people standing around me. So they may believe that you did send me, that you've made me your messenger. And of course, after he prays this prayer, not because he feels that he has to somehow plead or beg or get the attention of the divine, omnipotent, Holy Spirit of God, but rather he turns to that tomb and he speaks with authority and he says, Lazarus, come forth. It's a good thing he said Lazarus because when you have a word of faith upon your heart, when you got a word of faith upon your lips and you speak it in the timing of God, it will happen. If it had said, come forth, that entire graveyard would have got up and came hopping out of the graves. Because that's the power my God has. That's the authority my God has. When you ask in faith, believing he will answer. Oh, go ahead and praise him. Ask and you shall receive. When he spoke the word of faith, Lazarus came hopping forward, bound. But he left that place delivered and raised from the dead. I really feel very strongly tonight that God wants to work in miraculous in this building. There are miracles in this building right now. There are miracles of healing. And I've come to tell you, your healing is not a feeling. I thank God for worship. We had some great praise and worship tonight. And that's wonderful. But you don't have to feel 220 going up and down your spine for God to move. In fact, you don't have to feel anything. All you have to do is believe. Let me show you right now. There's at least 20 people in this building that are suffering a pain that God's fixing to deliver completely. And you're going to walk out of here delivered from pain. How many believe that right now? Ask and you shall receive. As a matter of fact, if you believe that God has power, that the blood he shed at Calvary, that he wasn't playing when he said, by his stripes, we were healed. If you believe those stripes were for your healing and you have pain right now in your body, I want you to stand to your feet. Come on. All right. Now, I'll tell you right now, I'm not the healer. 
In 30-something years of ministering and overseas and everywhere, I've never healed one person, Bishop. But I've seen thousands healed. And right now, the healing virtue of God is in this house. I want you to take your right hand and I want you to touch the area of your body where you're suffering in pain. If it's one single area, just touch that area where the pain is. If you've got several areas of your body that's in pain, just put your hand on your head right now. That's it. Now lift your other hand towards heaven. And I'm going to speak the word of faith. And pain is going to loose this building right now by the power of the name of Jesus. By the authority of the word of God. I command pain to be loosed. Pain in Jesus' name. Be thou loosed now. That's it. Pain, you have to go. Pain, you have to go. That's it. Praise him for it. That's your miracle right there. Pain, you have to go. Pain, you have to go. Pain, you have to go. In Jesus' name, loose these people. Oh, that's it. Put your hands together. Virtue's flowing right now. Come on, virtue's flowing. That's your miracle. That's your miracle. That's your miracle. Pain, you have to go. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. He's worthy. All right, I want you to check yourself. I want you to check yourself. And if your pain is completely gone, I want you to lift your hand up like this and leave it in the air. If your pain right now is completely gone, lift your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, hallelujah, hallelujah, come on, let's praise him, my God's a healer, my God's a healer, my God's a healer, my God's a miracle worker, pain, you have to go, we command pain to lose these bodies, now how many can say your pain's not 100% gone, but it's changed. It's not as bad as it was. Let me see your hand. There's at least 10 hands raised. That means gifts of healing are flowing in your body. Thank Him for it. God may complete the miracle tonight. It might be tomorrow, but He will finish what He started. Oh, come on, somebody. My God's a healer. I said, my God's a healer. Ask, and you shall receive. Ask, and you shall receive. Ask. Now, I've been very careful. I don't want to say this, and I'm not trying to put any fear in anybody's heart, no in their life. Don't you fear. Don't you be afraid. All right? And I want you to take this and run with it. But when you stood up, and I know you've been telling me you had that pain up here. When I came up, the Lord spoke to me, and he said, there is a slight blockage in the top area of your heart, the top, like, part of it. It's only come up in the past eight months. It's something that just came upon you. But the Lord just spoke to me tonight and said, he's going to clear this completely out. He's going to clear this completely out. Oh, come on, somebody. Praise him. Come on. My God is a miracle worker. I said, my God is a miracle worker. I said, my God is a miracle worker. As a matter of fact, the next time you go to the doctor and you get a checkup, it's going to be like he's going to he's going to sense or going to tell like something was there. Something was a, there was a problem there. And it's going to be like the remnant of it still there, but he's going to say it's okay now, but there was something going on that God's taking care of it tonight. Oh, come on church, praise him. As a matter of fact, now that I just spoke that word of faith to your bishop, I feel authority in this house against heart problems. I feel authority in this house. And there are three areas of spirit speaking to me that he's fixing to loose uh, the power of healing and miracles. Uh, number one is irregular heart problems. Uh, if you have an irregular heartbeat or something that just uh, just gets out of rhythm or just gets, it's not quite right. Uh, if I'm talking to you, stand to your feet. If you've got like an irregular type heartbeat or something that's irregular. The second thing is God speaking to me and saying literal heart trouble. I'm talking whether it's angina or it's some type of a heart problem you're aware of. 
Okay, the Lord's telling me just to pray for these two things for now. I want you to put your hand on your heart. Those of you that get your hand, I want you to lift your other hand towards heaven. By the power of the name of Jesus, by the authority of the Word of God, I loose miracles in this house. I loose miracles into these hearts. Restore these hearts. Restore them by the power of the name of Jesus. Oh, that's it. Put your hands together and praise him. My God's a healer. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Shalada Mataha. That's it. You're healed. You're healed. By his stripes, you are healed. I said, go ahead, sister. You're loosed. You're loose. Shatahara Baha. Shandahara Boho. Free her now. Oh, come on, church. The miracle worker is walking up and down these aisles. I said, the miracle worker is walking up and down these aisles. The healer's in this house. I said, the healer's in this house. Oh, go ahead and put your hands together again. Just thank you. Now I understand why the Lord wanted me to wait for the third one, because the third one isn't dealing with a natural heart. The Lord wants to heal some broken spirits, spiritual and emotional heart pain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God's going to complete the work in this service that he began starting Friday night of restoration. If you have suffered an attack against your family or your marriage or your children or some area of your life that has caused you to become wounded in your spirit or your heart or your emotions, I want you to stand right now for a moment. That's it. All right. Now, what the Lord is showing me right now, he is showing me literally a sword, a sword that has been stuck into your spirit. And it's as if there is a scabbard. There's still a handle sitting right there. So I want you to reach right now like you're grabbing the handle of a sword that's in your spirit. Because tonight, God's going to take this thing out of your spirit and the healing is going to begin. The root of bitterness that's trying to take root tonight is going to be dealt with. And God's going to re release you into full restoration and wholeness of the power of the Holy Ghost. Now when I count to three, we're going to say in Jesus' name, and I want you to pull that thing out. One, two, three. In Jesus' name, that's it. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. Ha ha ha. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. In Jesus' name, you are free. Oh, go ahead and praise him, church. Come on, he's worthy. Go ahead and praise him. He's worthy. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's your liberty. That's your freedom. If you want to shout, shout. If you want to dance, dance. You ought to rejoice. I said you ought to rejoice. Because he who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. He's loosed you. He's freed you from the bondages of bitterness. He's freed you in Jesus' name. Oh, come on. Put your hands together and praise him right now. Oh. Come on. Praise him. He's worthy. Something's happening in this house. Something's happening in this house right now. Ha! Huh. Go ahead. There's a liberty right now. I said there's a liberty in the Holy Ghost. Whatever you need in God, it's in this house right now. Whatever breakthrough, whatever victory, whatever deliverance, it's here right now in Jesus' name. 
Oh, go ahead. I'm not in a hurry. You want to shout, shout. You want to walk around and talk in tongues? Experience your freedom right now in Jesus' name. Experience your miracle right now in Jesus' name. Reach over and lay hands on someone next to you uh, and say, I free you. I loose you. I loose you. In Jesus' name, I free you from the bondage. I free you from the yokes. The anointing destroys the yoke. The anointing destroys the yoke. The anointing destroys the yoke. Oh, put your hands together one more time and just praise him. There has been a ministry of angels loosed in this house tonight. Ministering spirits who shall be sent forth for those who shall be heirs of salvation. God spoke to this church of harvest that's getting ready to come to you in a great measure. Bishop, I see a great host of the heavenlies moving towards the northeast part of this city. And there's fixing to be an outpouring of the Holy Ghost and an in gathering like you've never seen in the 20 something years that you've been here. Oh, come on, somebody, praise Him. Come on, uh, God, loose your host. Loose your host. Loose your host to minister for those who shall be heirs of salvation. With the release of this host right now, in fact, which direction is the northeast part of this city? Which direction do we need to, to point? Who knows? That way, Brother Bembry. Why don't you stretch, everyone turn and stretch your hands forth this way. Because I'm telling you in the Holy Ghost, something's fixing a break in this section of this city. By the power of the name of Jesus, by the authority of the Word of God, we speak liberty. We speak, oh God, the accomplishment of what you are happening, what you are causing to happen in this service tonight. That the angel of the Lord encounters around about those that fear you. In Jesus' name, loose the ministry. Let me, let me give you understanding. Let me, let me give you understanding what's taking place right now in the Holy Ghost. What ranking, what level of the spirit realm that is operating right now in this place, in this city. The Bible says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And against powers of authority. Say powers of authorities. That word is exousia, which means supernatural influence in government. Bishop, there is a breakthrough taking place right now. That has been a result of the battle you have warred through for this past year, beginning actually in 2012, uh, at the beginning of it, and going all the way until this point. Uh, there is a shifting right now and a transition in the spirit. Uh, and tonight, uh, there is authority being handed to you over the northeast part of this city. Uh, and God says there will be principalities uh, and powers of authorities uh, or supernatural influence in government uh, is going to become broken uh, and it will be cut. 
it will be witnessed with a sign with favor from government officials you've never had recognition coming from government officials and opportunities that God's going to open that you never had that you won't seek for but God will bring to you oh come on somebody put your hands together and praise him Come on, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. I also hear the Spirit saying that with this breakthrough in the Northeast, there's going to be financial empowerment like you've not seen. You've had a trickle here and you've had a trickle there and you've had a little bit here and you've had to be a good steward. But now God says, get ready because you're stepping not just into the flow, Bishop. You're stepping into the overflow. It's not going to be just a one-time blessing. It's going to be a continual flowing. It's going to be a torrent. It's going to be a deluge. It's going to be a flood of God's kingdom finance to bring forth every word and promise he has spoken in this house. Oh, come on, somebody. Praise him. You tell what I hear the Spirit saying. It's going, to start, it's going to show up first in the hands of those that have clothed themselves with the opportunities of entrepreneurship. If you are here tonight and you are in business for yourself, step out of your pew and come down here to the front. If you're here tonight and you're in business for yourself, because this is where these opportunities are about to show up first. I'm not saying only, but it's going to happen first. Sister, when God touched you tonight, something was broke off of you. Not only was your blood condition touched in your body and completely taken care of, but God says, I'm going to show you the signs of the apostles. That's fixing to fall upon the miracle that God's about to do tonight. There is in clothing, there is empowering a financial breakthrough. Shata, I said, come on, church, lift your hands to God. I release the finances. I release the provision. I release this in the name of Jesus. I loose it now. Shata. I loose the finances. I release it in Jesus' name. I loose the finances and the favor. I loose the finances. I loose it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I release the finances. In Jesus' name. I release it. I release it. I release it. I release it in Jesus' name. Oh, put your hands together and praise them, church. Come on. Come on. It's breakthrough time. It's breakthrough time. I said it's breakthrough time. Oh, come on, somebody. There's a breakthrough in this house. There's a victory in this house. Just back me up. Oh, come on, somebody. There's a victory. If you lost, you shout. I said, if you lost, you shout. If you lost your victory. If you think the devil's had you down and you're ready to get up, if the devil's taking your song, and you're ready to sing if the devil's taking your victory and you're ready to dance uh, on the devil's head i wish you'd get out in the aisle right now and say my victory's coming my victory's coming my breakthrough's coming devil you thought you had me down you thought you had me down but i got victory tonight oh come on somebody put your hands together and praise them You see, all hell has been rejoicing in Norfolk because the devil thought he won. He thought he wounded you with a wound you'd never recover. But he didn't know he was messing with. He didn't know he was messing with God's chosen. He didn't know he was messing with the apple of God's eye. He didn't know he was messing with the anointed ones. The sons and daughters of God. Well, guess what? I hear Gabriel turning to Michael 
and they're saying, come on. Come on, angels. Come on, warrior angels. We got a party. We're fixing to interrupt. We got a celebration. We're fixing to interrupt. We're fixing to turn the tide. And now the devil, who was rejoicing, who thought he had the victory, is fixing to take off because the victory and the power of the battle belongs to the Lord. Oh, put your hands together and praise him. Come on, church, praise him. The Bible tells us in Acts 17, stay right where you're at. They should seek the Lord. If happily... They might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. See, some of you felt like God's been far away. Your prayers have been hitting the heaven and falling back on you. You've been wondering, God, where's the blessing? Where's the promises? Where's the breakthrough, Brother Jones? Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the thoughts and plans I have for you. Says the Lord, Thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil. God never meant evil for you. Some of you have been going through, and I feel this word also for you, Brother Jones. That you've been going through trials and difficulties and just difficult times. And you're wondering, God, where's your blessings? I know I ain't been perfect, but I've been trying and striving to be faithful. And he's saying, I know the thoughts I have towards you. Not of evil. Not of judgment. But of peace welfare to give you hope in your final outcome it's not over yet touch your neighbor say it ain't over yet touch someone else and say it ain't over till God says it's over oh he might have won a few battles but the war is not over yet He might have won a few rounds, but it's not over yet. Verse 12, then will you call upon me, and you will come and pray to me, and I will hear and heal you. When? Just out of the clear blue? Just because? No, he gives us the clue what to do. Then you will seek me. Inquire for and require me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. I want you to think about your battle right now. What is the greatest struggle in your life right now? What is the thing that's causing you the most frustration, discouragement, Resistance, pain. What is the thing that's warring against your faith the hardest? And I want you for a, ma- a moment, just imagine with me the miracle done. Think about the victory, how it looks like right now. That breakthrough, that promise fulfilled. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to begin to praise and worship Him in the way you would when that thing happens. I said the way you would when that thing takes place. Come on, go ahead. Come on, somebody. 
would you act? What would you do if that husband came to God? How would you act? All right, I'm done. I'm finished. But I want to release this service, and I want you to dance. I want you to shout. I want you to worship. I want you to praise in the way as if it's done. I receive it, Lord. It's done. It's done. It's done. Shut the heart up. I said, it's done. Come on, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. All right, listen to me. There's a whole lot of you experiencing breakthrough right now. But there's some of you in this house who have yet to experience the freedom and the victory of the Lord. You still are facing bondage. If you're sick and tired of whatever is binding you, you're sick and tired of whatever it is that has you chained, I want you to come and stand right here in the front. Come on. Come stand right here and say, God, I want victory. Come on, I want victory. Come stand right here. That's it. Now lift your hands right now towards heaven because God's fixing to loose you. I said God's fixing to loose every chain, every bondage right now by the power of the name of Jesus, by the authority of the word of God. I command every chain, every yoke be loosed in Jesus' name.